All right, guys. Today we're going to be upgrading to a color display for our bikes that have M600 drives. Now, if you can get in here, you can see we're going to be removing the stock display and installing the new color display. And the tools you'll need is a three millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter hex key. If you live somewhere where it gets wet often, you may want to use some dielectric grease and I'll show you how to do all this. So step one is you're going to want to unplug and remove your old display. Now you'll notice your old display has the connectors underneath and there's no little, there's no little wire coming out of the stock display. So a big thing when you're running the stock display, is you want to be sure you have plenty of slack. Now the upgraded display has a big long wire coming out of it. So you're not going to really have to worry about slack as much with the upgraded one. Because if this, if this comes unplugged on the stock display, even a little bit, your bike won't work. So let's start by unplugging the main harness, which is the green connector. And then this one has a removable remote, which uses this purple color connector. So the display is the 2.5. And then the remote is going to be the three mil. And if you slide it over to the side, it's a little easier to get the old one off. The remote uses a three mil uh, up on the top part. And this one is hinged, so it's going to be very easy to get off. Now for installing the color display, there are two little square nuts and those need to get inserted into the back of the, the little mounting arms here. If you do lose these, you can just use any normal nut, but these are these are little square ones which fit properly into the mounting arms. You can push it in to line it up. So next you're gonna wanna Go ahead and mount this right over your stem. Very simple, these are pretty flexible. And then one little trick, instead of getting your tool underneath here, you just kind of rotate it forward like that. And these don't need to be crazy tight at all, just enough to where, just enough to where your display stays steady. I actually kind of leave them to where I can still rotate this if I want. And then on the new display, it does have a removable remote, but it uses the classic high go. So if you live somewhere where it rains all the time, dielectric grease is always nice on tiny connectors like this to prevent any little shorts from happening just put a little bit in there and then a little bit on the main harness connector and when you plug that in it'll get on all the pins real nice one big thing with these high go connectors is you got to be sure to line up the arrows the arrows on these are black on black so they're kind of hard to see you can also look for the little notch it won't let you plug it in wrong, but it will let you bend all the pins if you force it. So then slack isn't a huge issue with the new display. In fact, you'll see we're going to end up with tons of extra slack. Your main goal is to make it so you can turn your handlebars all the way left and right. So this one has plenty, so I'm going to go ahead and shove the excess into the frame. Next, I'm going to mount the remote. The remote is hinged, so it's super easy to install. And it is the exact same mounting bolt as these, so you can mix them all up. And again, it's a 2.5. Doesn't need to be crazy tight. 
but enough to where it's not gonna flop around. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to change this guy to miles an hour. I'm gonna teach you how to change it to level nine. First step for turning it on, it's a long hold on the power button, as you just saw. I'll go ahead and turn it off. It's also a long hold. So don't just press it, because it won't, won't turn on. That's not how the thing does things. Long hold, fires up. When you first turn it on, you're in level nine, and you'll notice these are actually coming out of the box set to miles an hour, which is nice. Usually they're all in metric. So to get to the menu, you just double click this M button. And then the M button is also your hotkey. That's the one that'll let you change settings. So you do have a language option here. It doesn't let you change it to any other language. Sorry guys. It will let you change the brightness and that's the backlight on this. You can make it real dim if you want or you can get it super bright. It has an auto off feature, which if you go and you just leave your bike on, it'll automatically shut off after five minutes of no movement. Uh, the temperature feature is just there. It doesn't do anything. This is another important one. This is how you're going to read your battery range, basically. So you can have it at percent, which is where the little battery indicator will be read in percent. Or you can change it to voltage and it'll tell you what voltage your battery is at. Or you can turn it all the way off. I don't know why you would want that. Power indicator, that's going to be amps or watts. So current is gonna give you a reading in amps. Power is gonna give you a reading in watts. You have a clock feature, which is pretty detailed. It goes all the way down to the seconds. Uh, start password, that's where if you want to basically lock your display, that's where you get to create a password. So where you can't turn on your bike unless you enter a four digit password. So some guys like to set that up. It's very easy to set up. Uh, next, we're gonna go down to more settings. You have a USB on the bottom of this guy. You can turn that on and off right here. So that'll, when it's on, it's putting out voltage. So you can charge your phone or power a light or anything else. Uh, the battery, it, it says 52, even though we're running a 48 on this. This one's just locked at 52 but it, it, it knows you're running a 48, so don't, don't fuss if that is locked at 52. Uh, let's see, light sensor, that's gonna be the, <clears throat> the self-dimming feature on this. There is a little light sensor on here and it'll dim the backlight when, uh, when it starts to get dark out so it's not blinding you when you're riding in the dark. Factory settings will reset all the settings back to zero. So it'll reset your odometer, it'll reset any changes you made. Uh, advanced settings, this is how you change it to level nine. Now, the password for this is 1199. So you press M button and then the plus will let you change this to whatever number you want. So we got one, one, nine, nine. All right, now it only lets you change a few little things. The rest of these are all locked and you can ignore that. That's the 45 kilometers an hour is controlled by the controller. So it doesn't let you change that through the display. Bike mode Eco Sport doesn't have any effect on any of our bikes. Um, the only one you would really care about would be this assist level. So you can change it from three levels to five or nine. And that's gonna control how many levels of pedal assist you have. So some guys prefer nine, some guys say nine is too many clicks, I wanna leave it at five. Some guys even prefer three. So this is how you would change that. You would just hit M to lock it into your choice. And then you would just go down to exit. So that's a brief install and walkthrough on our upgraded M600 display.